Right. So uh, today we are discussing about uh, this cucumber tool. Uh, because let me give you an uh, explanation in context to the uh, testing course. It's as far as testing itself is concerned, as I told you, there are two things. One is we have uh, uh, manual testing, all that. Because in context to the manual testing, whatever uh, uh, the test cases, test plans, test scripts, test scenarios, everything will be prepared on it. So followed by this, whenever there is any automation testing we want to use, there are different tools like Selenium, all these being used. So one of the tool, what is that are we going to discuss in today's session about the Cucumber part. It's Cucumber is also one of the uh, testing uh, this thing, which normally we use it uh, to create any kind of uh, uh, project scenarios, right? So user scenarios and all everything. And if you want to do any kind of test running, right? So automation of test runs, right? So all these things and all everything can be done in this. In context to that, I, today I'm just going you to show you an example in context to the ATM um, account balances or something like that. Right? That's what generally ATM, ATM management system I can say, right? So ATM management system is what something which normally I'm going to explain. So if you want to run any kind of test scenarios or if you want to do any kind of testing and all that. So very first thing we have to write down the user stories. That is one of its kind you have to write. You need to write multiple user stories and all that. So now in context to the user stories, what is that we are going to write? Here you can see there is an application in context as a feature which I have taken, which is called testing cast withdrawal, right? So that's what generally the one which I have taken. Now, when it comes to the testing cash withdrawal, again, they have two things. One is about account holder is withdrawing cash or account holder is transferring the cash because that's where generally it will be used of it. Now, when it comes to the action words, as I told you, right, there are some uh, requirements which I have taken. So the one is about the account balance, right? So that's what. So here we need to write down the description, right? So what was the description of that? The account balance is user wants to or customer i can say so now the balance in the record right so that's what generally uh, the description is next here if there are any parameters we wants to be updated so there are some parameters we have to write followed by the kind of definition right so if you want to perform any kind of adding steps and all everything is what something we have to use. We have to steps add the steps and all that. Now, customer wants to see the balance, right? So what steps to be added? Let's say, for example, insert the card, right? So insert the card is what something first an action which has to be performed, right? So that's what generally this is where I'm just moving on. So what was the next one? Once they insert the card, mm, it will verify and validate, insert the card and all that. Type the ATM password. Type the ATM password. This is what the second one. So type the ATM password is what uh, second one which normally we have written. So whenever there is an ATM password which was written by us, so there is a possibility where, uh, um, because whether the password was right or not, right? So everything will be discussed in it, right? Now, uh, choose the type of service uh, called withdrawal. Uh, sorry, uh, choose the type of service uh, uh, called uh, account balance okay account balance from the menu okay right so that's what it was okay now what was the next action uh, next action is that uh, select Once we have selected uh, 
account balance and all that. Uh, choose between dates, right? From which date to which date you want is what something you want to know, okay? Or else recent transactions or something like that. Right? Choose between dates. Now, click on enter. Right, so click on it. Right, so these are the action steps which we need to be performed when we are trying to see the account balance from any of an ATM system or that. Right, these are all the definitions which we have to write. Now, used by, right? So for example, used by that, right? So for what balance, for what purposes, generally these balances are used. These balances are required. Either the account has insufficient funds sometimes, or else the account has some sufficient funds, or account has sufficient funds transferring the cash and all that, right? Used by, right? So for that purpose, right? So account has sufficient funds. This is what generally the account has sufficient funds is what something which we have taken. Now here, um, customer, wants to make sure they have sufficient funds to transfer. Okay, sufficient funds to transfer, right? So if there is any attachments, anything of that sort, you can, okay? That is one thing which we have to see. Why account balance you require? Because you want to transfer some money to someone, right? For some different purposes and all that. So this, what is that we have to do? This you have to, because if you want to validate any kind of steps and all everything here, so given the account balance may be $100, right? So maintaining enough money, right? So these are all different, different validities and all. If there is any attachments to be attached to the existing ones, you can do it. Otherwise you can simply click on clone. Okay, click on clone. So this is where generally, uh, yeah, so this is where generally clone is what something which normally we have done. Now, if you are going to the cash withdrawal here, again, going back to the cash withdrawal, where in whatever the account holder details, right? So whatever the scenarios do we have, right? So if you want to perform any kind of action steps to be performed, right? So whatever the scenarios you are going to create, right? So that this is what generally, which we wants to be known with, right? So this is where generally, this account holder information and all everything is what something which normally we have to be mentioned. So this is what generally the information which we have mentioned here used by. And if there is any kind of revision history, these are all the revisions which I have made so far. Everything was done. Next, click on inline. So there are different, different scenarios here. Let's say, for example, account has sufficient funds, right? So this is what. So this is where generally data table was. So if you want to add any kind of new data sets to the existing uh, data table, for example, right? So you want to add some new data table. If you want to add any kind of new data sets to the existing ones, you can add it. If there is anything and all, everything that can be added here. So whenever you are added, you simply, you are clicking on clone. Uh, yeah, so this is where it was. Yeah. So this is where you can see scenario clone successfully for account has an efficient funds copy. So this is how generally this test cases and all everything is what something which normally we do when we are working on the cucumber using this cucumber and all. Now, if you want to run any kind of test runs and all here, you can see whatever the sprints we are going to create and all everything, how many sprints were uh, passed, right? How many sprints were passed so far? How many were pay failed? How many were skipped, right? All these things you can see. For example, here you can see in the first sprint, let's say whatever the execution we have made and all, we came to know that one test condition was failed, right? This is where generally. Now, if you want to do the testing, right? Here you can see there is a start test, build name. For example, I'm just giving some figure, right? So which is called PYS, right? So this is where generally six test cases are not run as of now, right? For example, choose the testing. Let's say, for example, uh, account has insufficient funds, right? So this is what you want to do it, right? So these are the test definitions which will be identified here, okay? Now, let's say, for example, if you want to run it, right? So if you want to run it or something, if you want to close it and all everything is what something which you can do it. 
you can run it and you can see so that whatever the information we have given and all everything is what something people can see. And if it is passed or failed, or right, either it can be skipped or blocked, right, work in progress, right. So all these informations can be seen over here whenever we are working on the test and all that. That's what it was. Next, when it comes to the automation part, if you want to automate anything and if you want to connect any other tools which is in connect to the cucumber and all everything, if you want to use or something like or else if you want to make any kind of CA configurations, means uh, integration configurations and all everything, right? So all these things we can do. Or else we can connect to different, different tools, whatever the tools are required and all everything. So those tools can be connected to this. Let's say if you want to download, uh, for example, Cucumber JavaScript, okay? For example, I'm just giving you, right? So Cucumber JavaScript is what something we have to connect with. Click on this. Hmm. Here, if you want, you can uh, export the project, right? You can export the project or zip file. Yeah, you can see the project zip file, whatever there, right? What, what are the features do we have and all? I'm just copying it one minute. I'm just copying it. Uh, I'm just creating a, a file called Cucumber. Cucumber testing is what something I'm creating. So Cucumber testing is what something I'm creating. Export project. Extract here. Right. So here you can see what are the step definitions do we have, right? What are the action words we have taken? So these are the script files, okay? So because you need to have some uh, JavaScript files and all everything you require. Otherwise, if you have a studio, Visual Studio can also be used. So that I uh, have selected Visual Studio Code is what something which I have selected. Now just click on open. Because we need to uh, translate the data to you know, the scripting part, all that. So hence I'm selecting it as Visual Code Studio because Visual Code Studio um, Visual Studio Code can also be used because if you want to translate it, the scripts and all everything, because different different IDs normally we use. Okay, so open right for example right. So yeah, so here you can see what are the words right. So these are all the action words which normally when we are going to work on this uh, uh, Visual Studio Code and all right. You can see right. So these are the code files which was there right so this is the code file i have taken right so this is the code which i have taken right so if you want to uh, clone the repository or else if you want to open the repositories and all everything because make sure you need to have an ide like eclipse my eclipse ades or something like or else intellij ides or jet brains or else you need to have uh, some uh, visual store code here because if you want to run any kind of javascript editors and all everything something you must be having an idea over visual studio code all that so visual studio code was already installed by me so because as far as this training is concerned which i have taken it so here this is how generally the code and all everything is what something which normally so whatever the changes to be made or whatever is not something we have implemented in context to the code what was written by the developers right so these are all the code which was written by the developers whatever the action they want to be implemented or something like, right? So all these things and all everything is what something because we have taken Cucumber JavaScript is what something which we wants to connect it. So if you want to uh, use that uh, JavaScript editors and all everything, one of the tool uh, called Visual Studio Code is what something which we have to be used here. So this is how generally this uh, code will be executed, code will be installed here. So this is how generally this Cucumber and all everything are something which is being used when we are working on manual part, automatic, automation testing also. If you want to do any kind of automation or if you want to create any kind of automation testing, all that stuff. This is the how generally this Cucumber is being used. At the same time, there are different, different automation, test automation frameworks also we have. As you can see, right, for example, prominent, one of the prominent tool called Selenium is there or else it can be Appium, right? So different, different uh, uh, tools are there nowadays, wherein if you want, we can work on that tools and all. So this is how generally, usually this 
Cucumber is what something which normally we use to build these user stories, features, and using these action words, whatever the scenarios we have created, right? So how this scripting and all everything we do using this Visual Studio by using for uh, JavaScript Creator for Visual Studio. All these things is what something which normally we do whenever we are working on the testing part, especially in context to manual and automation testing. Uh, so whenever we are learning quality and list uh, courses, or if you want to learn manual testing and automation testing and all. So this is what and how usually we work on the application. So application level knowledge is also required when we are applying for any opportunities, all that. Right. So this is all about the session today. We'll meet tomorrow and we discuss in continuation to this. Okay. Thank you.